To create a new Azure dev test lab, you're first going to need to dig up that specific service, as it's not one of the default favorites on the left hand side of your Azure dashboard. So when you're already signed in, head over to all services and then search for dev test. If you do want to show this service under your favorites, hit the star and you'll notice for me it's popped up down the bottom left of my screen. And if we click to go into this service, we'll see that we don't currently have any dev test labs running. So I'll click add to create a new one and we'll start by giving our lab a name. So you can call your lab anything you want and you'd likely want it to be descriptive so both you and the people using the lab know what it is. Make sure that you're applying it to the correct subscription. For me, I've only got the TechSnips one available and I'll use that. If you want to create your dev test lab within an already existing resource group, you can specify it here. Or you can easily create a new one by specifying a name for your new resource group here. I'll specify a new one so that it doesn't confuse any of the other TechSnips contributors that are using our Azure subscription. You can of course specify a location and just because it's where most of our resources are, I'm going to change mine over to East US 2. I'll leave the default settings for the auto shutdown. And by default, users of your lab will have access to public environments that have been created for use within Azure such as various ARM templates and the like. If you don't want those to be available to the users of your lab, you can turn that off by toggling this option over to off. I'm gonna leave it on just cause I want access to those ARM templates. If you need to apply any tags, you can do that easily here. I don't need any tags, so I'm just gonna go straight to clicking create. Once all my options are validated, we're taken back to the dev test labs dashboard and we can see a notification stating that our deployment of the resource group in which our lab is being spun up is being created. So in just a moment we'll see our dev test lab pop up in the list. And our lab's just shown up and we can see the status is still on creating. And in just a couple of minutes this is all going to be completed and our lab will be ready for use. So we've successfully created a new dev test lab in Microsoft Azure. Thank you for watching.